this week's video, I'm going to talk about how the design of a barrel vault will meet with the reality of the room that it's going into. I'll show you how I'm dealing with the openings not being centered in the room, as well as lining the barrel vault framing within the roof structure. I had to make a large jig to make that happen, so let's get into it. But first, let me give you a little bit of background. I am in the process of renovating the upstairs apartment of our 1880 Victorian duplex, and I want to build a barrel vault in the main bedroom to bring back some of the Victorian charm that the house lost over the years. In the previous videos, I demoed and cleaned up the whole room, as well as started framing and got insulation sprayed in. In that process, I installed a large LVL beam that will serve as a ridge beam for the barrel vault, but also as a reference point for all of the following frames. So the framing portion of this build will be split into three videos. I'll first explain how the barrel vault will be placed within the room and how I plan to do that accurately. Then I'll get into the templating process for the ribs of the barrel vault. And then I'll show you how it all comes together. In the previous videos in this series, I talk about how I plan on building this barrel vault. This design was based on some rough measurements that I had made before I demoed the room. And so now that the room is demoed, we can start coming up with a real plan on how to build this barrel vault. As I mentioned before, the openings are not centered on the walls that they're placed on. The window on the gable wall is 13 16 off to the right of the center of the room, and the door is a inch and 7 eighths to the left of the center of the room when looking at the room in plan. So for the barrel vault to look right in the room, it needs to be symmetrical to those openings and centered in the room. So the first step in that process was to center the LVL ridge beam on the center of the door and the center of the window to realign the two openings. This beam then allows me to figure out my measurements to place the barrel vault in the room. The next hurdle to alignment is that the floor is not level or flat. It actually slopes downwards towards the gable end and it has a about one inch dip in the middle of the room. This makes all my height measurements very difficult and inaccurate. So let's look at this on the computer. Okay, so here we are. You can see the door is here, window is here, this is the plan. Here's a line going right through the center of both. You can see that this line is not parallel with the uh, sidewalls. So this is a reference line, and now let's look at it in 3D. You can see this reference line, and if we extend it all the way up, let's look at that. Let's hide the walls. So this is basically a reference plane that goes through the center of the window and the door and are, is projected up. So the next thing that we can put in is our LVL beam. The LVL beam's in. So you can see that the center of our plane goes to the center of the LVL beam here. Oh, it looks like it's floating, but it's attached on both ends with hangers, as in the last video. So once we have this, we start working out the geometry of our barrel vault. Okay, so the barrel vault comes in here. It's centered on this. So I basically drew an arc and projected it outward to, you know, along that line, along this plane. So it's symmetrical on the plane on this end as well as this end. Very simple so far, but how do you build something like this? It's not like I can measure off of this wall. I can't measure off of the floor. I can't measure off of the uh, rafters. So none of the built elements except our LVL are frames of reference that I can use. So we need to build a jig that will reference off of the LVL. So here's what that jig will look like. Pull it up. It's a pretty simple jig. You can see that we have our 5.8 radius, 5 foot 8 radius uh, arc coming through here. And then we have two two by twos that are attached to the LVL. So these two are square to our bottom beam. And what that tells me is that if the bottom beam is level, I know that these members, those vertical members are plumb exactly, which means that I'm exactly centered on the LVL beam. And so with this jig, I can go along the 
LVL all the way through the room, you know, and start getting an idea of where my framing needs to be for the barrel vault. So you can see that this jig is fairly simple. It's uh, a series of plywood uh, curves that are screwed together, and then this beam is screwed together, and it all comes together um, fairly simply. So let's build it. Let's start by laying out the radius template. This template will then become the basis for the construction of the jig. I am using scrap half inch plywood and need to cut about 10 of these templates to complete the arch portion of the jig. You can easily cut this type of radius with a circular saw. I would say anything tighter than a 3 foot radius will require a jigsaw. Then I could start putting the pieces together in two layers, giving me a one inch thick arch as a result. The next step is to attach the arch to the bottom beam of this jig at exactly the right location. With the layout from the computer, I know exactly where I need to place the arch so that it fits exactly how we want it in the room. So based on that, I know that the arch needs to be five foot and six inches from the center of the beam, so I can align it to that. Then I can add the vertical members that will screw in at the LVL beam and align the whole jig to where it needs to be. These need to be perfectly squared to the bottom beam and leave enough room at the top to slide in on the LVL beam easily. I can then add some diagonal bracing for strength and get the jig out of the barn and into the bedroom. So here's how it works. I can lift the jig in place and screw it to the LVL beam, which is my reference. I can then level the bottom beam, which tells me that the center of the jig is directly plumb from the center of the LVL beam. Then I can stabilize the jig to the gable or to the closet walls, or later you'll see to the 2x6 ledger. And now that the jig is exactly where it needs to be, I can start working out the geometry of the barrel vault. So with this jig, I can measure the offset of the barrel vault to the existing walls to place the 2x6 ledgers for the arches. I can also start working out the shape of the arches template, which we'll talk about in next week's video. And I can also use the jig to help me hold up the arches during install, as it gives me a sort of ledge to rest the lumber onto while I screw and shim it in place. So thanks for following along. Make sure to check out the other videos in this series and I'll get back to work.